everyone. Thank you so much for checking out Crafty Little Rosebud here on YouTube. Today we are going to be going through um, a budget plan with me for the month of December. I've taken the 2019 um, Happy Planner Budget Planner and I've kind of messed around with the dates to make the November for 2019 work for November 2018. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to show you all um, how I redated it, what I am, um, how I'm going to use it, and we'll just kind of see how this goes. It's kind of my first um, budget plan with me um, on video. Now I do do a plan, um, but I've never done it using the Happy Planner. So I did go ahead and I redated it and I laid down these beautiful foiled stickers here and all the stickers that um, are little boxes like this are for bills that the, um, the amount fluctuates. But then you see these little flags here and those are for my auto pay bills. Um, so I guess actually the boxes are the bills, some of them do fluctuate, but it's for the bills that I have to actively go in and pay myself. And then the flags are for my auto pay. And then I've got these here for my, um, paychecks. So I didn't do much deco with it. And then I did go ahead and I'm using the weekly view and how I'm going to do it is I'm going to do my account balances on this top week here. So we've got checking, savings, retirement, emergency fund. I'm not gonna write in it every single day. I'm only going to write in when it changes. So if my checking, if I spend $20, then I'm gonna write it down the next day with $20 less. And then I've got, um, right here is going to be all of my bills. So I've got my Fed loan, my PNC card, Target card, MasterCard, et cetera. So all those bills will be noted there and I will write the amount in. Some of these um, fluctuate. And then down here, I'm gonna write in my daily spending. Now, the way that this was set up, um, December 1st starts on a um, Saturday, so I just put one and two over there for this particular week so that I did not have to start a whole new week using just the first and second. So that's how I'm going to use this. And as you can see, I've just kind of laid out the different bills. I've laid out my paydays. And I'm going to see how that works for me. So, and I do get kind of like a bonus week because um, of how I redated it. So then I've got my expense tracker over here and we've got the month of December right here. I will pull that out because it is way easier to write on. I do have my little um, bills cheat sheet here that I started. I have not completed that yet but it is a good reference. And so what we're going to do today, um, besides just kind of showing you how I was using it, is I'm just going to kind of fill this in. Um, or better yet, I actually already filled this in. So I'm just gonna show you what I did. So I wrote out all of my bills in the order they occur. I wrote out the date. Um, I just know that, you know, first, third, fifth, sixth, seventh. And then I wrote in the amount of the ones that I have a set amount already. Then down here, I wrote out my subscription boxes. And the reason I put these out here is because they're things I don't have to have. If I ever need to cut them out, I can. Now I am waiting for them to renew so I can get the exact date that they renew and the exact amount that they renew for. And then childcare, my daughter goes to my grandmother's every Tuesday, so I pay $50 childcare every Tuesday. My fiance pays the other half. And then I will get two paydays. So I wrote payday down and I marked it out right there where you would check off paid because um, I'm not paying them. So I just will fill in the amount as they come in. Then what I like to do is since I know that I'm getting paid on the 14th, let me zoom in. Since I know that I'm getting paid on the 14th and the 28th, I like to go in and just put a one or a two up here next to the bill so that I know which paycheck that's coming out of. Now for like Etsy fees up here, this is actually coming out of November, th the third check that I get in November. So I'm gonna put a three right there and I know that it's coming out of the third check in November. And I'll do that all the way up until we get to a date that will be covered by the check that I get on the 14th. So here's the 15th, that will go into the first paycheck I get for December. And then again, I mark it all the way until we get to a date that will go on the 28th. So that is how I do it. And then I do the same thing with childcare. I will go through these, like I said, I am waiting for the date. Um, I do know that one's the third. 
uh, paycheck in November, but down here for child care, we've got the 4th, the 11th, and those all occur before. Then we've got the 18th, which occurs after the 25th, and then the 31st will come out of the second paycheck. So that's how I keep track of what's coming out of what paycheck. Um, if I don't think I'm going to get enough in like the next paycheck, then I might try to set some more money aside from the paycheck before it. So that's how I'm using this for right now. Um, I'll definitely try to um, get a better system going and I will continue to try doing film with me's on my budget planning for the um, year of 2019. Right now, just doing it for December, it was really just trying to get like a rough idea of how I wanted to do it. So um, thank you so much for watching and hopefully this is useful for you. If you decide to take the leap and do the happy planner budget planner, I would love any of your input on um, awesome suggestions on how to make it as functional and as easy to follow as possible. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.